I've actually not really <coughs> been there for people around me. So that was a big change for me. A uh, re realization, a self-realization, and, and you know, and I'm really glad it did come at at this age and not 20 years later. <laughs> so I'm using this year to connect with all the people close to me. I remember what you said to me, which I, I'd like to share with everyone, when you said you were taking a break, and uh, you're also a very conscious uh, of your commitment as a, as a single parent. You're also very conscious of the fact that uh, your mother needed you and you weren't always around for her where, because you were busy with your career. You were very conscious of the fact that within your marriage, marriage uh, both your marriages, maybe you time was what they wanted and you couldn't give it, yeah. perhaps. And so this break that you're taking, a lot of actors would not dream of taking a career break of this kind, but it's very, very courageous of you to do it. But you know, my, my actor friends make fun of me. They're like, you were always on a break. What are you talking about? You film me kaan karta hai? Jo tu ab break pe hai. So, well, but, uh, but you see, the difference is that now my mind is on people. Earlier, my mind was, was on films. Was, was, you know, in, in, you know. So that's been a big difference for me. Uh, tell me, uh, is, is, it, is it like nerve-wracking, you know, waiting for the response of people who've, who've read your earlier books and, you know, uh, at this stage, is it really nerve-wracking? You said you were nervous. No, I'm only nervous uh, when, I, when the process is on. After that, I honestly think of the book, maybe I'm romanticizing it a bit too much, but once it's published, and I loved, the, uh, I loved how the design team has... Yeah, they've done a wonderful they've job. They've done a beautiful, yeah. wonderful yeah, job yeah, of yeah. the design. So, Paul and me, three shots, <laughs> your design team, they're busy having a drink. I don't want to interrupt them. Drinks are yeah, important. it's a really lovely design. Uh, yeah, so, no, once it's out there, I mean, it's like, you know, those uh, happiness lanterns or those... Uh, in Thailand, those yeah, 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 you, yeah? Leave, yeah, you leave them. So you leave it and you keep following the lantern till it's just a tiny little speck of mm. gold in the sky. <laughs> yeah. And you keep wishing and you're wishing and then it disappears mm. and it's in space mm. and you disconnect. Mm. And then it's no longer yours. Mm. So I feel that way about the book. It's great to see it at uh, airports. It's great to see it with people. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's not that I'm paralyzed at all by reactions right or i'm um, uh, preoccupied with how it will be reviewed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and perhaps for the first time in my acting career mm. acting whoops writing, writing career, career yeah. <laughs> writing career yeah. lilette i took your line uh, <laughs> i have received the most incredibly warm reviews wow and i can say why amir mm. they're not from my contemporaries oh Loaded response. Oh, no, I didn't get it. <laughs> Contemporaries will never, ever say anything wonderful about oh, you. Oh, okay. Never. I mean, but the first sad. few reviews were so devastating, it, I should have crawled into a little hole and never gotten oh, out. Oh, no, okay. Today, it's Young India. And Young That's India right. is much more accepting, much more open. Mm. Uh, they don't come with any preconceived ideas. Sure. They're not judging you. Mm. They look at the book and it's... the couldn't care less. They mm. like it or they don't like it. Mm -hmm. They don't care who's written it, who's kap aage piche kya tha, none mm. of that. Mm. That's how they look at movies as well. That's how they respond to music and, sure. and everything. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm very glad that I managed to impress young India. That's for me a huge, huge big plus. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Tell me, what, what is the, in, in the book, what is your favorite part in the book? What is the one, uh, maybe incident or one thing that really moves you the most or is closest to your heart? Well, the book started off uh, as uh, I, uh, the working title for the book was Searching for Anuradha, oh. which is my birth name. Oh. So, mm, so Anuradha was, it began as a quest. Mm. So where is that little Maharashtrian girl? Right, what happened to right, her? Right, right, right. And then somewhere You were, you were born in Mumbai? In Satara. You were born in Satara? Yeah. I mean, my wow. father was a district judge there. Right. And I was, uh, that birth name was Anuradha based on my nakshatra. Now the nakshatra is the 17th in the hierarchy of nakshatras. Mm -hmm. And the, the emotions or uh, attributes connected to Anuradha, the nakshatra, mm -hmm. are fragility. Oh. Fragility. Right. So maybe my inner fragility is all mm -hmm. emerging. 
Finally, right. I have found Anuradha, is what <laughs> I'm thinking at the end of the book. Wow. Seriously, because I'm still looking, yeah. but it ends with my saying that finally Anuradha is where she wants to be. Mm. This is the last line of the book. Mm -hmm. So uh, that little Maharashtrian girl, and uh, I said it earlier, and, my, my, and uh, it's worth repeating, mm. that I can almost hear my parents, wherever they may be, uh, chuckling at this <laughs> woman, this person sitting here, <laughs> and saying, maybe in Marathi, of course, uh -huh, to uh -huh. me, uh -huh. ki kai tu tu <laughs> kai tu itki hai fi shobade aiska. <laughs> Which is in a way so reassuring. I, I know what you mean. I so reassuring mean. because yeah. it's back to roots, it's back to knowing. Uh, but I never did forget Anuradha. Mm. I, it was all, I was this little Maharashtrian girl people. was always, always there. So but if my parents were to say, Ki tu ithe tithe zaun puagra khashil ani ani kai khashil, pan bhakri yon ratri khanar ki nai. It's a fact. That's it true. is that bhakri which. Mm. I still eat every night. It is that bhakri which sustained me. And it's the bhakri which I value the most. Right. You know, tell me a bit about your childhood. Did you, how many years did you live in Satara? How long were you there? No, no, just two years. When my two father years. was transferred to the Ministry of Law Central in ah. Delhi. So formative okay. years were very Delhi. Were very Delhi. Ah, okay. uh, and uh, I liked it better as a child than I do now. I avoid Delhi at all costs. <laughs> uh, but... Back then, I, I enjoyed it because Delhi had seasons, Ahmed, right. which we don't in Mumbai. We have hot and we have wet. Well, now it's getting cool. Nowadays, it's quite chilly. Eh? I, I'm a strong levels. Mumbaiite. I always say, yeah, December mein achcha chill ho jata hai. <laughs> Paanch din ke liye. <laughs> but we love that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> tell me, uh, uh, how, I mean, amongst all the books that you've written now, when you look at your, when you look back at your work, how do you look at it? Do you compare one book with the other? Do you, how do you feel about the work that you've previously done? I like some of it. I hate some of it. I'm embarrassed by some of it. That's a truthful answer. Some, I feel, yeah, okay, I, I really like what I said then. That's if I ever go back. I'm not one for uh, looking back. I, I'm very much a, creature of the moment right. and I'm not even saying I look ahead mm -hmm. to me it's the here and now right now I'm here with you we're talking Correct. about this book and this has value for me so the old books well it's like saying uh, I don't know you can learn a lot from your old books but what more do I need to learn at this stage which will somehow make me into a Nobel laureate it's never gonna happen right <laughs> these are my books I'm proud of all of them. That's I right. love them. That's but um, it's like asking who's your favorite child kind of a thing. It's a Correct. trick question. Mm. So even if you have a favorite child, you're never going to acknowledge it. Yeah, I, I, want, I asked you this because I want to know what I should answer when I'm asked this question. <laughs> I'm always asked, which is your favorite film? I have no idea. <laughs> so I said, let me try you it say, happy batao because your films are watched <laughs> by millions and millions. <laughs> you turn it around and say, which is yours? Uh -huh. ah, that's mine also. <laughs> uh, you've had such a... So such a <laughs> colorful life, such an amazing life, it's so vibrant and so, uh, you know, full of experiences. Uh, uh, how much of that we'll get to see in this book? Amir, read it. Uh, <laughs> a lot, okay. I promise you. No, no, I'm, I'm planning to read it. I'm going to start on my way back in the car. Yeah, I, I promise knew it. You. Yeah, I know he was going to bring it, that. but he had told me. It's really, I mean, it's, it's, I honestly think it's uh, not because I'm here to sell my book at all, but um, it's a great book. I said it. <laughs> no, I'm but sure it is. I love it. I'm sure I love, it is. I really enjoyed writing it, and I think that comes through mm. because it's very layered. It's not, I mean, there are a lot of young, uh, earnest reporters who come and ask me. So, madam, ye aise khane wali kitab hai, to isme recipes bhi bahut sare hoenge. So, or uh, khana pakana kaise and all, all of it. So, I have to keep specifying that it's not a food book. It's not a cookbook. Huh? It's not a cookbook. There are no recipes. Mm -hmm. Maybe recipes for life, perhaps, but not even those in the in the, in a conventional sense. Mm -hmm. It's really a book that's uh, a celebratory in tone. Mm -hmm. It celebrates 
experiences, sounds, smells, music, art, poetry, as I experience it in that one year. Right. And food is at the central center of it all. I mean, mm -hmm, there's mm -hmm. eccentric food, you know, like crazy foods. When I was in Kerala, uh, this, uh, a lady asked me, she said, Madam, you have recommended uh, 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 banana chips, crushing banana chips, and having them on Hakka noodles. I said, it's, uh, it's actually try it. Because, I mean, unless we experiment with yeah. food, yeah. Why should we be straight-laced? Why should we be purists? Yeah. Why should we have food critics telling us how we should eat? Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, there's no such thing as the ultimate Bible of food. We have our own palates. Why mm. shouldn't we trust our own palates, sure. our own taste buds? So I like being, doing, you know, pagalpan with food. Mm. What is your favorite stuff. cuisine? Uh, Japanese, because, oh, Japanese. because it's very subtle. Mm. And it's also quite close to Maharashtra. Yeah. In its own crazy yeah. magic. It? Fish, rice. No, 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 no. Of course. Just no, no, the, the, the ingredients don't have sushi. fish and rice. But Are you, just because we don't have sushi. And, you know, whenever, I, I mean, I, I, I'm... Fish uh, and rice. Yeah. And subtle. And not masala. And not, it's not cooked, overcooked. It's not cooked much. It's steamed. Yeah. And uh, there is a certain refinement, like uh, yeah. we Maharashtrians have. So it's... You know, I have to say I'm hardcore Indian food eater. So... Uh -huh. uh, uh, Japanese cuisine, I have to keep checking. It's cooked. Because I can't eat, uh, I find it raw. difficult to eat raw. Yeah. raw. Yeah. No, I avoid the raw. But so I within India, food. what is your favorite cuisine? Uh, the Bengali for sure. Ah. Uh, not only because I'm married to a Bengali, <laughs> uh, but also because of that. Mm. I'm exposed to it day in and day out every day of my life. We're eating Bengali cuisine. Right. But it's also the sophistication of the cuisine. Mm. The uh, completely richness of even everyday dishes. Mm. It's not a simple cuisine. Mm. I mean, they get hysterical over how vegetables are cut, for example. There can be major fights <laughs> if the vegetable <laughs> is cut wrong. It's cut wrong. Then I. So it's a very refined form of cooking. Very so refined. Yeah. Actually, as, as is a lot of uh, <laughs> regional uh, cuisines in India. But more so the Over Bengalis. The years. Uh, mm. I mean, I've never been to another Indian home for a, for a dinner where the first 20 minutes are devoted to discussing the beauty mm. of a dead fish, Topshe March. <laughs> 20 minutes of how absolutely exquisite it is to look at.